Welcome to this video. We learned the divisional formula in our previous video. Today in this video, we will learn about the area of triangle with the help of coordinate geometry. Hope you remember that the area of a triangle is determined by the measure of its base and height. We learned in the previous class that if the values of height and base are not known, we can still find the area of a triangle using Heron's formula. But can you guess when this method can be used? Correct! Only when we know the measure of the sides of the triangle. But can you determine the area of a triangle? when the coordinates of the three vertices are given. Let's discuss. In a plane with x-axis and y-axis, let DEF be a triangle. The coordinates of the vertex D are x1, y1. The coordinates of E are x2, y2 and the coordinates of f are x3, y3. From the points d, e and f, if perpendiculars d, q, e, p and f, r are drawn respectively to the x-axis, then it looks something like this. If we look at this figure carefully, then we find that the perpendicular e, p is parallel to DQ and DQ is parallel to FR. That is, all the three perpendiculars are parallel to each other. And the angles EPR, DQR and FRX are equal to 90 degrees each. If we talk about DEPQ, then it is a trapezium because we know that if the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel, then it is called a trapezium. Similarly, DQRF and EPRF will also be trapeziums. Can you tell what is the formula of the area of trapezium? Good! The formula to find the area of a trapezium is 1 by 2, the sum of the parallel sides multiplied by the distance between them. If we add the areas of trapeziums, DEPQ and DQRF, we get the area of the whole figure. But we only have to find the area of triangle DEF. Hence, we deduct the area of the trapezium EPRF from the total area to determine the area of the triangle DEF. Can you determine the length of the sides? EP, DQ, PQ, FR, QR and PR with the help of the figure. Absolutely right. Now substitute all these values in the equation. On solving it, we get 1 by 2 multiplied by x1 multiplied by y2 minus y3 plus x2 multiplied by y3 minus y1 plus x3 multiplied by y1 minus y2, which is the area of a triangle DEF. You might be thinking that the area of a triangle can also be obtained from the Heron's formula in which the measure of all the sides can be determined by the distance formula, but that is a complex method. So, for solving it easily, we understood this formula in which trapezium was used. Hopefully, through this video, 
you must have learnt how to find the area of a triangle. In the next video, we will see examples based on this.